Hey, what's going on, everybody? Look at your Big League Sports Cards. And that's right, we have more hockey in front of you. That's right, straight from Houston, Houston Texas, man. Hockey. A um, couple of reasons. Um, one, uh, it's actually kind of cool. Uh, getting into the Young Gun set, um, obviously being a hobby enthusiast for, you know, 30 plus years. Uh, you know, you know, cards and players and, and the hobby and, and, and numbers and all that stuff. It, it's, um, that's what we do, right? We like keeping all that stuff. And, and two is availability. Um, I live in Houston, Texas. We have no professional hockey team here. And this product is, can be found right now uh, out uh, in, in, in uh, Targets and Walmarts and stuff like that um, at the normal retail price. Um, and given the fact that uh, there's some pretty, um, in terms of the Young Gun cards, you know, with Quinn, Hughes, uh, Kabako, Suzuki, Doc. I mean, there's uh, a maker. There's, you know, some really nice cards here in terms of the secondary market. So, um, you know, it, 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 uh, for me, it's a double win, right? Uh, I get to... Um, um, you know, m uh, fulfill my thrills in terms of opening product in the hobby, uh, but also in terms of finding product that is actually at a true retail price and um, obviously getting them graded, which is what we do, right? Looking for high-graded, uh, um, high-end cards. And then um, being able to get those submitted and, and then out to you as a consumer, um, it's great. <laughs> so but, uh, we're going to take advantage of the situation. Why not, right? Um, we'll learn hockey. We're learning the hobby uh, in terms of what's hot uh, 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 player-wise in hockey. Um, lucky I, I'm not going to declare myself an expert in hockey in any means uh, from collecting or from the sport. Um, I do appreciate the sport tremendously. Um, I wish I could ice skate a little bit better. I've given it a couple of tries, but um, I think I'd love to be a hockey player, to be quite honest. So um, let's go. Let's see what we got here. Upper deck. 1920 mega box. Um, Young Guns, we got exclusive. Um, I always put the thing way back there. It kind of bounced back on me, so I can't see what's exclusive to this. Um, but uh, oh, die cut uh, rookies in here. Okay, um, so the base card setup, like I said, kind of a, a true um, uh, upper deck setup, which I can appreciate. Young Guns, there's our first one here. Scott Saborn. <clears throat> Nurse, go through here. Foil upper deck, classic look, um, classic lines, big pictures. Or you know, no lines, no borders. That's upper deck, right? And they stay true to their form for, gosh, and save uh, uh, their initial release of cards, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I would say that it, it cost them a little bit there in kind of the, uh, what do you say, early 90s, just because things got a little wild there with 90 shine and refractors, and they didn't necessarily change the way they had it. So we got a young gun canvas of Carl Gunstrom. There you go. I was like, that's not a canvas. He uh, had the right, wrong light on it there. Wilson and Robert Tom. I was going to see some real quick in this box. Let's see. Exclusive. I cut rookies. There's a bonus pack? Oh, okay, I see it now. Um, ba -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Canvas inserts. Uh, okay. Let's see. I wasn't missing anything. Like, guaranteed auto. <laughs> oh, another thing I forgot to mention. The, the classic upper, dale, upper deck seal on the back. Okay. Nice photos. Young guns, there we go. Little Garrigoff. Vladi Vladislav. I'm gonna bounce them over there. I didn't mean to disrespect that card. Cut her butt. This feels like it's got a little thickness to it. I don't think there's any mem cards in here. Do, do hockey do mem cards? I don't know. I haven't seen one yet. I'm sure they have some type, but. Talking like in this retail stuff. Canvas of Jack Eichel. And um, somebody help me out. So with the Ungun stuff, is um, is there any type of, is any player short printed based on, um, I don't know, I guess draft status or anything like that? I don't know, I'm just asking. It's going to be kind of interesting to... Uh, Get that info there, but that's how it works. How many teams are in the NHL right now? I guess the only thing with um, Upper Deck, you know, identify wise, is that they use the same type of seal for each team, which is okay, but it you know, unless you're super familiar with the team logo, it may be a little hard to identify, right? Because there's no color or anything, you know, associated with it. Um, I've been at portraits of Ryan Gitzlaff. 
it's kind of a oof. I'm just gonna say I don't like that card <laughs> at all. I don't know, a little very weird, interesting. Okay. I said Quinn for a minute. We got uh, two, two or three young guns, two young guns, two canvases, and a weird uh, portrait uh, insert there. Connor Clifton. No, so I get, we'll get that now. Let's do it. I, like I said, I'm not the guy that's always going to wait to the very end to open up the glow. I'll open these first. I don't care. If it's there on top, I'm going to open it. I don't, uh, I'm not super precious. I just want to get to it. I think I saw a name there. I think I saw a name there. Be the name. There it is, baby. Look at that. Kale Maker. Whew. That's, wow, that's sick. And that foil is clean. Nice. Nice, nice. That's going to go right onto the... Uh, PC order that's going out probably Wednesday. That's fantastic right there. Jam us a little bit of a uh, sleeve right here, just because it is a full card. So in case uh, your first time watching the show, I use for stuff that I grade, um, oversized, vintage, whatever you want to call them, thick sleeves. That way, there's you don't have to worry about you know less chance of scuffing stuff up, right? You get uh, way bigger uh, sleeve. So the for this one, we want to go this way, which is a little bit typical, but I'm not well, because it's rounded there. Voila. And you see the extra space you got there. One, you're going to be moving it once. Um, two, the grader's got to get it out of the sleeve. So if it's the normal size sleeve and it's super tight and they're digging and pulling, and especially if you got some type of foil up here on top, <sighs> hey, man, it's not worth the risk. And these aren't any more expensive, right? Uh, they may be like a penny more expensive for every 400 I don't know. But anyway, uh, for a kale maker, die cut rookie like that, you want to risk it. Boom, she's going right off. Beautiful card. Fantastic. See, once again, it doesn't matter the sport, the hobby. Now, should you have appreciation for the sport? It makes it a little more fun, right? But um, you know the player you're looking for and um, you know, you're aware of a certain set or something like that. It's just fun, man. Uh, we got here, Brent Burns. <laughs> None of these portraits. God, I'm glad they didn't. I haven't seen it in this year's hockey anyway, but those are terrible. All right. I think oh, we should be at least do more one year, one more young guns here now. Like I said, the thing obviously getting just into it is that I don't know, you know, second year player value, you know, who, you know, what those names are. Obviously, other sports, it's you know, it, it's there, but um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna learn it. I'm get involved here. Keep up with the NHL stuff. All right, guys. Well, that's the break. Uh, what do we have? There's a couple, six, seven packs, but obviously, uh, we got what three young guns, or four young guns? No, three young guns, two canvas, a couple of these portraits. Um, we got the, uh, the the promo pack there of the three die cut rookies and this beautiful uh, die cut of uh, Kale Maker with the gold foil on the outside. Man, that thing is awesome. All right, guys. Let me know what you think of the break. Respect the hobby. Have a good night. Bye.